Would you like to start an online toy business from home? Let me show you how with JotForm Store Builder. Hey JotFormers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm already in my JotForm dashboard. So the first thing we wanna do is go up to the top left corner where it says my forms and we're gonna choose my apps. Then the purple create app button. And from here we have four different choices. We can either start from scratch. So if we know exactly what we want this to look like, we can choose that. If we don't and we need to get our creative juices flowing, we can utilize the use template. If we already have an app started, we can clone it or we can utilize the build store option. Now the build store does seem like the most logical choice, but it is basically starting from scratch with a product list already added for you. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and use the use template option just to kind of see what we have as far as templates. So in the search option, I'm going to go ahead and search for toy. And just for this example, I'm going to go ahead and use the one on the left, the toy tracker app, use the template. So let's go ahead and take a scroll and see what this looks like. It looks like we have uh, two forms to record toys. Then we have different games that we can use. So let's say that maybe we also want to have the opportunity to sell some of the toys that we have instead of letting them borrow a toy, we want them to purchase it. So I'm gonna go ahead on the left-hand side, we're gonna choose to add an element right down here, product list. We can go ahead and drag it in exactly where we want it. Then over on the right hand side of the element, you can see we have three different options. We have product settings, which is where we're going to add or edit any of the products that we have. We have our store settings, which is where we're going to allow people to purchase, that actually pay the payment integration. And then we have the delete option if we wanna go ahead and get rid of the entire thing. So I'm gonna go up to the product settings. And if we want, we can click on the pencil right here to edit this product. If we wanna go ahead and leave this here and make it our own, or we can choose the gear option and we can delete it. I'm gonna go and get rid of this so we can start fresh. And then we can change the name of this, toys for sale. And then we're going to add a new toy. So let's say this one is a train. And just for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it as free. If we want to put a description, we can. Pictures are always best, especially if you're selling toys. Um, but let's say up at the top where it says options, let's say we want to give people more options with this train. Maybe we have multiple. We want to allow them to purchase more than one train. I can turn on that quantity selector. And then we can also choose product options. So let's say we have different colors of trains to purchase from. So I'm going to go ahead and choose color. And then from this drop down list, we can choose color and it gives us a list of colors. If there's not a color that we need, we can go ahead and delete it. So let's say we don't need magenta, perfect. Then we can go ahead and go back. So we have 10 quantity options and we have four color options, perfect. And if we needed more options, you can click on add again and you can add even more. But let's go ahead and go back to basic and back. And let's add one more product. Let's say this one is a doll. I'll keep it free. Again, description is yours, choose images. Then we choose options again. We wanna allow them to purchase more than one if they'd like. And then let's say we have, again, we'll do maybe like the color of the dress. And then I'll leave all those colors for now. That looks good. Let's go ahead and go back and we are good to go on our products. And again, you'll wanna add as many as you need. But from here, we wanna go ahead and add our payment integration. So you can see since I closed out of the editor, the payment option disappears from our element, but it is available on the right hand side. So if you wanna choose from here, you can. If you'd prefer to do it within the element, just choose the element. We can do store settings. Both are gonna to go to the same place. Next, I'm gonna choose add a payment integration. And from here, you get to choose exactly what you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and choose square and connect. Then I'll go ahead and turn on Apple Pay and Google Pay. We'll save it. Now let's go up to publish. We'll go ahead and open a new tab and let's see what this looks like from a consumer side. So we can see our product list here of toys for sale. And one thing that's really neat is your users can choose to favorite products. Maybe they don't wanna purchase right now, but they wanna kind of keep a running list. So let's say I wanna favorite the train, but I also want to purchase a doll. So when we click on purchase and when you have those options, it's gonna open up this box. So let's say I want to purchase one with a green dress. Add to cart, perfect. So let's go up and look at our cart. And we can see our order summary. So we chose one green doll, but if I head over to favorites, I can see that I also favorited the train. So from here, if I decide, you know what, I do wanna add it to my cart, I can. I can choose add to cart here, and I can choose I want a blue train, add to cart. So if we head back to our order summary, we look good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and click on continue. It's already pre-filled for me, awesome. Proceed to pay. 
I'm gonna choose Google Pay for this, then order, and we're good to go. So from here, I can click on my previous orders and it's going to take me to pretty much a receipt of my order. There we go. And if I've ordered from you multiple times over on the left-hand side, I'll be able to see my entire order history. Now to see order history from your perspective, I'm gonna head back over to the builder. And then instead of the app builder, we're going to choose tables. And then we can see the order date. We can see the app that it came through, which is the toy one. We have who purchased it, their email. And then if we scroll all the way, we can see exactly what they ordered. And if we wanna click on one of these, we get the more specifics like the color or the quantity. Now, another thing that you can do within tables is if you're working with a team, you can also choose to add a column and then we have buttons. So you can send this data to other apps, maybe to Slack or Google Drive or Monday. And another thing that you can do is you can also add a send email button maybe you want to do another type of like thank you or a confirmation email you can do that here as well and it's as simple as that so if you are ready to start your online toy business from home let us know and i'll see you next time